you think I'm running. If you think I'm running, you lost your darn mind. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining me today. Today is a great day. Today's an amazing day because I'm alive. You're alive. You're watching this video right now. And we're both, everybody's alive. So, yeah, I'm today's alive. Today's a great day. You're alive too? I am. All right. Um, anyway, <laughs> thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate it. I was going to, now, we have, why is my chair so far back? Look at this. Oh, I don't know. Someone who's sitting fun. here. Hang on. I'm riding real low like a gangster. I'm a gangster lean on. What's up? Hi. <laughs> anyway, I let me just come on. Who did who did this? Okay. Uh, we are headed to the movies. Going to the movies. We're gonna go see what? We're gonna go see Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I, I'm pretty excited. It's actually a DC film that got good ratings, so I'm pretty pumped about that. And uh, our tradition, as tradition has it. When we go to the movies here, we go to the local restaurant called the Beer Barrel first, and we get the appetizer tray. I've got this weird looking sunburn on my forehead right here, in the shape of where I was wearing my hat yesterday, old blue. And I got it I got it when Nick and I went on our like seven mile walk. Water! No, didn't lotion up your head? No, I didn't think about it. So I'm, I'm like, I'm wearing a hat. I'm not gonna get sunburned. Not if you wear behold. backwards. So on my teaching tip video today, uh, it's got that little sunburn on it. And so now forever, anybody that watches that video three months down the road is gonna go, what the heck is this guy's deal? This guy's so weird. Look at that weird sunburn. After you guys, I'm a gentleman. It's all blurry. I'm all blurry. I'm realizing the older that I get, the more I appreciate stuff. Everything, really. Like right now, Kentucky Derby or this, there's some sort of horse race going on that I find myself fascinated by. Do you have, do you have the same experience? I do. Everything is more I fascinating. Do. Absolutely. And I really enjoy conversation more now, which is kind of funny because we're, it's more technology now, but as an adult, I enjoy, I enjoy conversation more. Remember as like kids, I never wanted to sit down and visit with people, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna sit down and visit. No. Right. <laughs> now it's like, now it's like, that's all, you know, I, I enjoy that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Her munchie basket dance. Can you do it again? <laughs> that picture makes me sad because those poor puppies are going to get sick. Are gonna... <laughs> How are they going to get sick? You're not for puppies, Kyle. Huh? <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. Well, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. <laughs> I and mean, look, it's going to burn their poor little paws. <laughs> I don't think Possible. And I don't think that puppies need glasses either. He's wearing a monocle. Well, same thing. <laughs> Just enough time before between dinner and the movie to go get. We're gonna go to Walmart real quick, and my sister's birthday's coming up, so we're gonna just peruse and see if there's anything. She's going to college. We're gonna see is there anything cool we can get her for a dorm. If you're a piece of machinery, what would you be? What? I mean, if you were a type of machine, any type of machine, what kind of machine would you be? Um, okay. Weird question. All right, if I was a machine, what type of machine would I be? I would be, mm, I would be a, a can opener you because would. then I would actually do my job. Oh, no. If you don't get that inside reference, uh, <laughs> if you've been watching this vlog for a while, you, you will understand that reference that we hate our can opener. What would you be? Oh, I think I'd be an ice cream machine. Why? Because I always want ice cream, and if I was an ice cream machine, we'd always have ice cream. Okay. All right, that's, this question is for you now. If you were a type of machine, <laughs> what type of machine would you be? Comment down below. There you are, I lost you again. I swear it happens every time, and she doesn't have her phone on her, so I wasn't gonna be able to find you. I thought you were lost. <laughs> turn my back. I turn my back for one minute. And I went away. <laughs> take, Kyle, they have take. one of these really cool pillows. You have one of these really cool pillows. Okay. Oh yeah, this is. These are the stuff right here. This is awesome. Clissa might actually really like this. I know she might. Um. It's not the right color though. No, it's not. 
Are we? Found us. Help. Where? Here. Oh. Oh, that beat. Uh oh. Did you cut her? Oh, let's go. <laughs> You'd think we'd remember and we'd, we'd learn and remember which aisle we're in. This happens every single time. I think every uh, parking lot needs to be like a theme park and have like a different animal. They have, but they have numbers. No, they don't. Uh, yes, it does. Row, we're in row nine. Uh, we'll, we'll we never learn. We never learn. Uh, ready to go see a movie? Yeah. Especially since it's about a strong female lead. You're a strong female. Yes, it is. We're we're gonna get my sister or something for her dorm room. We just got some good ideas. We had to go back in college mode and try to remember what we would have wanted, yeah, so. Like we got our brains going. Our brains are just churning, but now it's time for some Wonder Woman. Mr. Twister. Time for some Wonder Woman. Got our popcorn, broke our year. with popcorn. Yeah. What movie did we go to when we raced? Had to run fast. Captain America? What one was it? If you think I'm running, if you think I'm running, you lost your darn mind. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, <damn. laughs> that was amazing. It really was. <laughs> I was really impressed. You gotta go see Wonder Woman right now. Stop what you're doing. After this video, rush out and go see Wonder Woman. She was the best. Like, I really think she was the best hero. I, she might be my new favorite superhero. I'm gonna be honest with you. So we had a very good date night tonight. And something that we, I mean, we do a lot of like staying at home and, and watching TV, which is nice, but it's nice to just go out and do something, whether it be to go to the movies, go to the park. It was good to have that time together. It's really important. Mm, yeah, well, we used to be like, we used to be kind of weird with money where like we would try to over budget and don't get don't get us wrong like it's very important to budget your money mm -hmm. and like spend wisely and save but we would get like weird where we, we would be like okay we'll go to the movies but maybe we'll get one drink to share and a small pop like we would get really weird and one i can't remember what it was but we just decided we we're like look if we're gonna go to the movies we're gonna get the popcorn and the drinks and the candy and if we're not if we're not comfortable if we don't feel like we have enough money to go out to the movies then we shouldn't go at all like don't go if you're not gonna have the full experience like on your honor date night like we make sure that we're not thinking about necessarily what we're gonna do tomorrow or what it was like at work today or what our day necessarily was like but we just spend that time to be together so tonight we went to see wonder woman and it was really good and that's not something that we were really, really expecting. Well, we had low expectations because all, most of the other DC superhero films have disappointed. And we were like, okay, well, we'll see. We'll give Wonder Woman a try. I will admit, we did look at the, we did look at the um, reviews before it came out. Yes. Uh, before we went to see it. And they got good reviews. And I, I, I will say, I think it might be my favorite superhero movie right now. Like, obviously, obviously Wonder, Wonder Woman's always been a thing, right? But... Seeing it now in the mainstream, like I think a lot of girls, a lot of girls, especially young girls, will attach themselves to the powerful image. You know, more and more, more and more, they're getting out that message, but it's still something really hard, I think, for girls to understand is their importance and their self worth. Um, just with a lot of the media emphasis on like looking just looking perfect, being a certain size. Um, somewhat still there's still some of that belief that women need to be submissive to men um wonder woman did not submit to anybody no, she did not. <laughs> and you know it's there it's good to respect there's one thing to submit and there's another thing to have a respectful relationship for someone and that's something that's something that carries into relationships into into the marriage so it's good to remember that uh for you girls out there or women out there that Wonder Woman had a lot of respect for herself. Uh, I think it was just a major step forward, not only in DC movies, because they did it right. It was a whole origin story, but also I just think that in movies, having a female lead character who is not a princess, kind of like the same thing with like Frozen, how Elsa wasn't like this hopeless 
princess that needed a man to come save her, right? Like, same thing with Wonder Woman. Like, girls all around the world will, will see Wonder Woman as the strong woman who can do stuff for herself, right? And she can, you know, save the world. So, I think that's just a powerful message. And it wasn't too preachy. It wasn't too... It wasn't like... It was just the right amount. So, go ahead and see it. Uh, it was a great movie and it was a great yes. day. So, all right, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. So, find your gift. Share it with the world. And remember, you are worth it. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.